On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at the Monkey Man series, Legendary Comic Book Hero Series 2. We're going to be looking today at Cyber Force and Codename Strike Force. We're going to be looking today at Striker. Many of you would remember him from Cyber Force, as advertised down below. Some of you might not remember him from Codename Strike Force, which was also a uh, series that he was in. A series that, uh, for one reason or another, I don't know why, I went out of my way to try to pick up the first issue. Uh, there might have only been a small handful of issues released under that name, and then they just dropped the title, but... Um, usually... It's one of those, people don't necessarily always remember this guy's name, but they always say, you know, that dude who's got the three arms on one side. It's a, it's very strange to see a, a character such as that, because, you know, um, we've always we've had always, you know, two armed characters, two arms on both sides, four arms total. Um, but Stryker went, you know, uh, beyond that, and they designed him with three arms on one side very different. Um, the package wise, you got Legendary Comic Book Heroes up the top there. On the side, the comics that the characters are featured in. You know, Sin City, Monkey Man O'Brien, Freak Force, and so on. And on the back, um, the other figures in this wave, we've got Marv, Star, Striker, Judge Death, we've got Darkness, and Anne O'Brien collect all six. Even though there are two variants, you can collect all six to build the very large Monkey Man. The read-up says, Morgan Stryker is a soldier whose world was viciously torn apart after a dangerous military operation went wrong, leaving him crippled and left for dead on the battlefield. Transformed by the evil Cyber Data Corporation and aided by an experimental cybernetics procedure, Striker was gifted with three fully functional cybernetic arms capable of lifting 10 tons each, in addition to being individually upgradable for different operations. Uh, his right eye and ear, damaged beyond hope of saving, were replaced, giving him ability to monitor ultrasonic frequencies as well as to see in the infrared and microwave frequency spectrums. After breaking free from the male malevolent Cyber Data Corporation, and with the help of his hand-picked team of allies, Stryker now mentors the next generation of heroes. I think of all the figures in this set, aside really from Darkness and Judge Death, this was the figure I wanted to pick up. I'm really looking forward to getting this guy out of package, so let's not wait any longer. Why don't I zip what I'm doing, stop talking for a second, and I'll open this guy up. And we will have ourselves a better look at the Cyber Force member Striker. And we'll be looking at the piece that he comes with for Monkey Man. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. And before we actually look at this guy right here, we're going to be looking at this thing right here. Uh, this would be one of the two hands, or one of the two arms, that come with this figure. And this is actually crucial. If you're one of those guys that at least want to finish a figure and at least give him arms, you're going to need this guy right here. So we've got ourselves the arm of Monkey Man. We're going to actually take Monkey Man here. Let's hope, let's cross our fingers that it's easier to put the arm in than the leg was. Because i got to say, those legs were awfully hard to get in. And am I going to have any problems here? I might. Let me do this off camera. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. You guys can say, oh, hey, look at that guy. It's that guy with the three arms. There we go. And just like that, we got ourselves Monkey Man with one, with one arm. The only thing missing, fix your specs, man. The only thing missing is this arm right here. So we got one figure left, we got one arm left, and then we'll have a fully finished Monkey Man. So we're gonna move him out of the way. And let's have a look. Let's have a look at Cyber Force member 
striker. Love this figure. I love this figure. I love this figure as much as one collector could love a figure without it being all creepy like. Um, he's really detailed. I mean, he's extremely detailed. I love what they've done with the arms. The paint's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of messy in some areas. It just looks like they just slopped paint on there. But uh, overall, he is really decent. I, uh, I actually tried making a striker when I was growing up. Um, I actually made one out of a G.I. Joe. I can't for the life of me remember which G.I. Joe. It might have been Captain Gridiron, if anybody remembers. And uh, I actually took the time and I screwed in. I made three screw holes in the side torso. If anyone had a G.I. Joe growing up, you probably took your G.I. Joes apart a lot. I took it apart. I got in the arms. All, the, all three arms were working on the one side. I was very proud of myself um, for how long ago it was. I mean, we're talking like two, three years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm only kidding. I, w I was like eight years old, I think, when I did it. Um, certainly this striker is a lot better than what I did. Because I think I even took a hair from Zanzibar and I put that on him. I really butchered a couple of those G.I. Joes. I kind of feel bad. You know, you don't think about this stuff when you're younger. Um, but Stryker is very cool. I, I like this figure quite a bit. Uh, the face is good. He's very angry. He's got that metallic thing going on, the metallic cybernetic side to him. A big thing in the 90s was to make all your figures or characters some somehow robotic. Kano had it, of course, from Mortal Kombat as well. Hair is very cool on him. Um, one, he's also got the weapons. He's got two guns. One gun doesn't seem to sit in his hand as well. Uh, it's probably just because of this open. The trigger area is so large on it that it just kind of flops around in his hand. Um, but it is still very cool. Um, he's got another hand too. It's just kind of got a hand slapping action. Or if he wants to ask for some money. Um, you can close up the hand, but it doesn't have articulation in the fingers. So, really only two hands will allow you to hold the guns. Uh, speaking of articulation, his head can rotate left and right. It can bend down. It can bend up. Um, his arm is on a ball joint, so you can bend the arm up, back and forth. You can rotate at the bicep. You can bend the elbow at two points. You can rotate the hand. You can bend the fingers. And in the way of these arms, there is, if I can get around here, there is an articulated point right there that you can bend the arm back, forward. You can rotate the bicep. Uh, you can bend at the elbow. You can rotate the hand. You can also bend the four fingers. That's one arm. Uh, this arm right here, same idea. You can bend the arm forward, back. You can rotate the bicep. You bend the elbow, rotate the hand. You can also swivel at the hand, and there is also articulation in the four fingers as well. And that's my phone. Hold on a second. Let me just uh, stop that for a second. People always calling, always calling when I'm making a review. They must know. Uh, you can bend the arms in and out. Uh, you rotate at the, the arm as well, the ro rotate at the bicep. You can bend at the elbow, two points. You can rotate at the hand. And you can also swivel the hand as well. Um, I guess really when you tally up how much articulation, this figure has a lot. Granted, it's kind of cheating because it's essentially the same arm articulation, but times three. Oh, also, I forgot the main point. You can also rotate all three arms. So you can have his arms kind of up. Let's do this. Or you can have your arms kind of more forward. He also has articulation in the mid-torso. You can rotate at the... No, you can't rotate at the waist, which is surprising. But you can bend the legs back and forth in and out. Rotate at the thigh. Bend the knee at two points. Rotate at the boot, calf area. You can bend the foot. And you can also bend at the toe. I would say more than any other reason to pick up this figure is just because you got so much going on with these extra arms. It's a real shame, though, a real shame that 
they uh, they didn't actually do more of the legendary comic book heroes. Um, had the line only done a little bit better, they could have maybe released more of the Cyber Force figures, and maybe they could have done the very forgotten codename Strike Force. Um, but I do like this figure. I would say go out of your way, pick this figure up. If you were going to pick up any figure from this line, pick up Striker here. Um, there's so much to like about him. Three arms, I don't know how he could really walk. You'd think it'd be extremely heavy on the one side. Um, but still makes for a very interesting figure. I'm going to give this guy an 8. An 8. I should give him really 4 for four arms, but that's such a low score. Dude, he deserves an 8. Um, today's toy spot, we were looking at the Legendary Comic Book Hero Series 2. We were looking at um, the Cyber... I was going to say Codename Strike Force. It's the same. You know, he's in that as well. But we were looking at Cyber Force member Striker. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more toy spots to come. And I will see you guys next time.